and inside the internet based communications which an international target with an international uh, target facebook required less than 4 years to reach 50 million users while skype took roughly 2 years so the remote and mediated communication has become increasingly relevant but this process which opened up the contemporary real time of communication era cause a reorganization and even a decadence of the material senses. In fact, media mainly mean visual and acoustic media. For instance, the olfactory information cannot be transferred in today's remote and mediated communication. It can only be indirectly and synesthetically evoked through the visual and acoustic channels. The smell pertains the body reality, the status, in such a strict and powerful way that humans invent the perfumes and the deodorants in order to divert, expand, or remove the body's odor and to enhance its symbolic dimension, so escaping that limiting and immediate condition. Smell and touch rely both on direct and short distance or contact communication. Hence, we must conclude that we accept to communicate more rapidly over greater distance in an incredibly affordable and maybe economic way, but in exchange for an impoverished communication. Moreover, it should be noted that, despite the hegemony of the senses of distance, sight and hearing, the so-called superior senses, in the Western culture, the senses of proximity and contact, smell and touch, are considered more relevant in relation to reality. Touching is believing instead of seeing is believing like St. Thomas, who touched the wounds of, the, of Jesus to be sure he was real, we trust more in the information we get with the sense of touch. Maybe a further note should be devoted to the interactive communication. In the human communication, as well as in the communication of the living organisms, interactivity is a rule and not the exception, as the media would often claim, and it is not only technology-based. Before the use of images, adornments, and uh, later writings, the human symbolic communication was mainly direct and interactive. With the achievement of the mediated communication, images in general, and writings, for the first time humans register the knowledge outside the body and invent the non-interactive mediated communication. In the history of the symbolic communication, this is a real exception. But the interactive communication is so important that uh, in the present era we devise the technologies to render interactive also the mediated communication, bringing it back to the main realm of the interactive communication.